I'm Ryan from Talk Polkadot, and I am here to talk Polkadot. Thanks for joining us for another great Dot Scribe episode where we describe and discuss different complex features, ideas, and events that exist inside the Polkadot ecosystem. In today's video, we will be discussing Polkadot and Kusama crowd loans. If you are new to Talk Polkadot, we are a digital media group that is 100% focused on Polkadot, Kusama, Sama, Dot Sama News Network for all people interested in all things Polkadot and Kusama. Our goal is to help aggregate and simplify the many wonderful things happening around the Polkadot ecosystem, including recapping major announcements, project updates, and many other topics. Also, we will host discussions and share stories with thought leaders, tech innovators, and many others who build, support, or utilize the Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to ensure you get the latest and greatest from Talk Polkadot. If Polkadot, Kusama, and Relay Chain are a bit foreign to you, please visit our website, talkpolkadot.com, for more information and helpful resources. Lastly, before we get started, we must warn you, all videos and media created by Talk Polkadot are intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. We are not financial advice. Nothing we say should be taken as such. Now let's talk about crowd loans. If you are a new holder of Polkadot, let me say congratulations on making it to the winner's circle. Although Polkadot and blockchain technology have been around for some time, you are still very, very early to the game. Since you are watching this, you are probably wondering, what are crowd loans? Maybe someone has recommended Polkadot to you. Maybe you've been seeing conversations about rewards from Karura and Moon River on Twitter. Regardless of why you're here, the important thing to know is that crowd loaning is one of the many brilliant features of the Polkadot ecosystem. Basically, crowd loans are like an initial public offering, or IPO. But instead of purchasing stock, users loan their Polkadot to a project, also referred to as a team or an organization, for a preset time to receive specialized rewards from the project they loan their DOT. When you loan your DOT to a project, you never lose possession of your crypto. No transferring, no custody given up to a third party. You still own your DOT. The trade-off is you can't do anything with that DOT until the lease period is over. Okay, even when speaking in general terms, it's hard to simplify such an amazing advancement in the crypto space. Let's talk about crowd loans using some handy dandy animation. Okay, to start participating in crowd loans, you must first own DOT. No ifs, ands, or buts, one cannot loan something one does not have. Now to loan DOT to a project, one must first wait for auctions to commence. When auctions commence on dates prescribed by the Polkadot Governance Council, you are allowed to loan your DOT to any project participating in the auction as long as the donation limit has not been met. Think about this process like putting a token into an arcade game. In order to play the game and reap the rewards, you have to put your tokens in. The difference being in parachain auctions, you get your tokens back at the end of the session. Your DOT will provide the foundation and security needed for projects to attach their parachain to the relay chain in order to operate inside the ecosystem. Translation you are temporarily providing mortar unto which a manufactured home, the parachain, is established. As mentioned earlier, you never lose control of your DOT. After the lease period set by the project, all your DOT will be waiting for you in your crypto wallet that initiated the loan. For loaning your DOT, you receive rewards unique to the project you are supporting, delivered in the form of the project's own cryptocurrency, benefits, and other perks. The amount of DOT and the date you loan are key factors to determine the amount of awards you receive. Translation, the amount of DOT you loan is the primary factor of your reward size. Projects may offer other incentives to loan early in the auction or extra benefits for loaning a certain amount of DOT. Your rewards are yours to keep. You do not have to exchange your rewards to get your DOT back. You never lose possession of your DOT. Now, this may sound too good to be true, 
but we already have great real life examples of how this all works. And to show you, my co-host Judge will go over how crowd loans worked on Kusama. Thanks, Ryan. Hello all, and thank you for tuning in to Talk Polkadot. I'm Judge, here to bring you the exciting update on crowd loans for Kusama, Polkadot's canary network. Ryan is right when he said Kusama is a great real world example of how the ecosystem works in real time. With eight parachains already live and 14 projects competing for four more slots, this is truly a competitive ecosystem and provides a great example for how this wall will work on Polkadot. Now, two of the top projects on Kusama have recently gained an explosion in popularity due to what they bring to the environment. Karura, Akala's Canary Network, won the first parachain auction and gave a whopping 22 car tokens per 1KSM contributed. They'll be providing the first and only DeFi hub on Kusama for now. The second project I want to point out is Moonriver, Moonbeam's Canary Network. Moonriver is a smart contracts platform that will allow projects from Ethereum replicate their dApp and deploy it straight to the Mover network. Their project gave out 17 Mover tokens per 1KSM. I'm sure we're all familiar with the explosion of NFTs and DeFi in 2020. Karura and Moonriver will be helping adoption by providing a new DeFi space to make, create, and trade this ecosystem. Needless to say, while not being the only reasons major adoption has picked up on other blockchains, these kind of projects brought in the necessary liquidity to provide a sustainable environment for trading in other use cases. And this is just the beginning for the Dot Summit Network. Back to you, Ryan. Well, there it is, folks. We have Dot Scribed Parachain Crowd Loans. Some of you might be wondering, what if the project I loan my Dot to does not win during the auction? Well, there's no need to fear. If a project does not win the auction, an all loan dot is returned to you soon after the auction period completes. For those new to the Polkadot ecosystem. Number one, use a trustworthy crypto wallet that holds Polkadot and has simple functionality for crowd loaning. Users can also participate in crowd loans through a dot friendly crypto exchange that supports Polkadot crowd loans. Number two, do not loan your dot to a project that is closed to crowd loans or has met the predefined limit your dot may not make it back to you. Number three, research the projects you would like to invest in. Many great projects will be launching parachains on the relay chain. Some will do better than others. Number four, sit back and enjoy that free crypto. All right, that's it everyone. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button turn on notifications, and we will see you on the next episode of Talk Polkadot. Cheers, everybody.